Yeah. So, hello everyone. Nice to be back. Um, I'm going to be talking about uh, variable templates uh, on a small problem I uh, encountered at work. Um, so, I had this code and uh, I got a 32-bit uh, value read from some hardware register. And the, we were supposed to peel off 30, the 30 bottom bits and use it somehow. So that's the interpret function. And when I saw this, um, I had a hard time reading the number of Fs here. Uh, is it correct? I'm not sure. And it was repeated in several places. So um, I was thinking, could we do this better? So the first thing, I don't know if you saw that, but here is the apostrophe. So uh, this is uh, from C++14, a digit separator. So this makes it a bit better, but not much. So I added a function called make mask, uh, which this is a well-known bit twiddling hack for generating uh, n bits <coughs> in the bottom. Uh, and the point of use, whoops, uh, damn it. Um, no, uh, this makes it more readable at the call site here. So it says make mask of 30 bits. I think that's an improvement, uh, but it has a downside. It's a function. So that means in debug mode, you have to go into that function. I don't know if you bother about that. I'm bothered by it. And uh, also, which is much worse, if we misuse it and specify a bad number of bits, what happens then? So here's the function. Uh, so if we try to get minus one bits, we don't get a warning. Not in Clang, not in GCC, not on W all, not in W extra. So that's pretty bad. Uh, and if we specify more bits than fits in 32-bit uh, ints, that's still the same thing. Or if someone misunderstands how, how it's supposed to be used and tries to give the mask directly. So maybe we could improve this a bit. Perhaps by adding const expert, that usually solves all our problems. <laughs> but not in this case, still war uh, warnings, uh, no warnings. So, um, I then tried a variable template, uh, which is something that was introduced in C++14. So it's a variable, but it's a template. Um, so it's pretty much an ordinary variable. It's just that you can template it. And this is the call site. <clears throat> and instead of the parentheses, you have angle brackets. So this is uh, readable. That's fine. So what happens when we misuse it? So if we try a minus one, we now get a warning on GCC, which complains about narrowing. Narrowing means when you try to fit the value that doesn't fit, it has too many bits. Uh, but it still compiles, so that's bad. Uh, Clang also warns, it also warns about the negative shift. Shifting a negative number of bits is undefined behavior. Uh, so, and Clang gives us a compiler, so that's good. And if we have uh, 33 bits, um, we get a compiler bo both for Clang and GCC. But could we perhaps uh, add const expert here? Yes, we can. And now we get a compiler, so that's good, because uh, I assume it's the non-undefined behavior Thing, uh, promise of const expert. Also, this makes this variable not mutable, which is very good because otherwise you have a global variable which is mutable. So don't forget const expert on your inline variables. Now we get uh, compiler errors on uh, all these bad constructs. So that's good. So now we have it readable and we can't use it wrongly. But this is the error message we get when we use it wrong. So can we do something about that? So enter concepts from C++20. Um, 
so this is the same function as before. I just inserted the blank line here. Um, so this is the same as before. So we start by defining a concept. So give it a readable name and uh, that should be self-explanatory. And then we apply the concept by introducing it at row five here. And that's all the change that's needed. The call site is untouched. So now when we try to misuse it, we get this type of message from GCC. So uh, this is pretty readable. Um, it even points out what, where it's wrong and what is wrong. Uh, if we look at Clang, it's uh, yeah, a similar message. Which one is better? It's a matter of taste, I guess. So that's it. And here is a link to the code, uh, including all the steps in between, if you want to look at it. Yeah, that's it.